Okay, people, right here, this is a little project I've done. And basically what I did is I took the um, remnants of my velvet leaf philodendron. I had got some cuttings from a friend, and I did not know what to do with the rest of them. So I had this little cylinder glass kind of sitting around. And what I did is I turned it into a miniature forest type of thing and basically it's just two little moss poles that I had in, in one of my tanks and then a little it's a piece of driftwood and I buried some of the um some of it is buried under the soil some of it is attached to the poles, the moss poles, and they actually came from my fish tank. So, um, but I know in nature, a lot of times, philodendrons and pothos, they attach themselves to like dead, decaying, like logs and stuff like that. So that's why I did it here. You can see that, like that little root. Look at that. Those are air roots, and they were not present when I first set this up. And from what I understand about the plant kingdom, they don't do air roots unless it somehow has attached to something somewhere. And it's looking for more, so it is successful. Very quickly, I want to kind of um, show you how I layer my soil, because if you look, you'll see there's sand, orchid bark, cactus mix, no, I mean potting soil, cactus mix, more orchid, well, more cactus, and then the top layer of orchid bark. It seems like it's doing pretty successful, so um, we'll see how this ends up, where it ends up. I'll keep everyone updated. So yeah, this is my little glass cylinder with my little philodendron. Um, you know, the leftover parts that I didn't have nothing else to do with it. So um, it's a little project I did. I'm always doing little projects to see how they turn out. There it is.